Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, we'll talk about the code and we'll just take the first two stages. So the first stage is like checking out of the code. It is going to make a call. I think we do not need this. So I'll be removing this or if you want to write, you can just write the branch. My branch is main over here. I'll just save it over here. And this is the branch that I'm going to make a call to. And then the next stage would be a build and J unit test MVN install post success j unit and this is going to make a surefire report file okay so let me just uh, check in the code okay so i'll just commit it sync the two changes cool okay so this, this has been done so what i'll do is there are multiple ways to run a jenkins file okay let's do the basic one i'll just copy this code for now okay go over here go to new item and we'll be talking about the pipeline, right? So let's see dev sec ops project. That's what we'll write over here and we'll work on that project. Okay. And then once that is done, let's go to pipeline. Okay. So that's the first thing. And after that, a simple dev sec ops project that's we are going to write. And after that, for the timing, you can just save it. Okay. Now go to configure again, come down and then it is looking for a script. So you can make a call to SCM as well. Like if you want to make a call to Git, you can do that. It will ask for, for a repository. It will ask for the credentials. There are multiple ways to do that. We can do that later. But right now, if you want to just do that, just write it over here. Control V. So whatever you have just copied, you can do that. So if you have not copied it, then just go to logic ops lab. GitHub. Let me go there. This one. And uh, let's go to repositories. So there would be one DevSecOps, this one. There would be this file, Jenkins file one. And then you can see this code over here. Okay. Just copy that, all of that. And paste the code over here. Okay. Very simple, nothing else. And we'll, we'll see whether this will run or not. If it'll, if it'll show any error, we'll fix that at runtime. Let's click on build now. So it'll try to make a call and it'll fail. Obviously it'll fail because there is, there are a lot of issues and we'll solve them on runtime. I think I made a mistake. Let's go back to the project, go to configure. Uh, I think I missed a P over here, so let's Click on P, pipeline, apply, save. I think this should start now and let's see. There would be a few errors. We'll solve them at runtime. Okay, perfect. So let's go to console output. Maven 3.8.6. It means that we have not set it up, set up the Maven. So let's go to dashboard and let's go to manage Jenkins. Then go to global tool configuration. Then scroll down, you'll see maven installation over here so you have to just add maven over here and you have to give the same name whatever you have given over here so just copy this control c paste it over here give it a name maven and you can select the version 3.8.6 apply and okay so that's how you can do it let's go back and see if we'll face any other error click over here build now and let's go inside so it has started building let's go to console output now it will make a call to your Java web app, which it already did and then Git version. And then it will start checking out the code in the system. Then it will do Maven install and then it will download a lot of stuff from the Maven Apache or repository. And this can take up to some time. Okay. So if this is a first time process, then it can take up to five minutes or six minutes, depending on your internet speed. But do not worry. Once it is downloaded, it will save it in cache and for the upcoming builds or the subsequent builds, it won't download that much. So let it happen. I'll just fast forward this video. Okay, so this has been completed. You can see a lot of stuff has been downloaded and it took me around five minutes for that. Let's go back to the DevSecOps project and let's go to dashboard. I think we do not need this test project. This was just for the purpose of showing you how things need to be done. So yeah, we now have DevSecOps ops project over here 
Okay, so this is done. So the first thing was declarative tool install, which happened. Check out git. The code is checked out into the machine. So if you have a master agent architecture, then it will it will be used in agent. But right now I did not have set it up. So I'll be using this machine only. Check out git build and j unit test. So this has been completed. So if you go to logs, you will be able to find archive j unit formatted test results. If I go over here, so right now it's saying recording test results, no suitable check publisher found. So right now we do not have check publisher for that. All right. If you can, if you want, you can just go through most of the project like what is happening over here. All right. And if you want to take a look, you can just scroll down and you can take a look at this latest test results. Click on that and then you'll be finding zero failures, which is test results. Okay. It took around four seconds. If you want to add a description, you can add it over here. And this is an example package com dot example dot demo this much time failure zero pass one diff one total and that is all. Okay, so I hope you folks have understood till here. In the next video, we're going to talk about sonar cube and we are going to push this to sonar cube so that we can see the results how it is happening. All right. So if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.